the blinker. Let's just try the left blinker. It's on. Now the right blinker is on. Alright, we're good. The tug testing to be already. And we can go inside and find us a job now, guys. Because that's why we're here. To make money, not spend money. I mean, there's nothing wrong with spending money, but, you know, making it seem better. Alright, we are in um, the Flagstaff. Arizona, we just left the Grand Canyon. We had did a job, a drop off at the Grand Canyon. So, in the neighborhood, uh, I said, you know what, might as well do some real estate. Oh, that's a little too far for me to be going right now, and I don't want to go back to California. Period. Um, spend 20 years in California, so get out and see. All right, this was 546 miles. Uh, yogurt? Are you kidding me? I mean, the pay is nice, and it is going to Roswell, New Mexico. But uh, yogurt? I'd rather carry rice to Utah. Yeah, just a little further, but uh, uh, Clovis, New Mexico. That's a little. That's a little closer. 
Clovis, but we've been there before, so I'm trying to find somewhere we haven't been. Sierra Vista, have we been there? No. Looks like that's our destination, people. We're carrying some TVs. Let's take some TVs, y'all. Let's get right at it. Alright, how far out are we from our pickup? We gotta see that. Let's undo them brakes. Let's bring this trailer up to par because we got to turn out. So I'm gonna get as close to the wall as I can. Yeah, there we go. Get as close to the wall as I can without actually hitting it. We're gonna go out to our immediate right. We have watched the trailer, people. Don't want to scratch it up. Is a well, not fairly new, but it has a new paint job. I, I'm still using the same trailer. I'm just uh, matching the skin. Oh, there's a truck coming. I better wait on him. He's about the only one that I'm worried about now. There we go. And I've been clearing that wall. Yes, we are clearing the wall. I just used a small mirror to uh, see the full length of the trailer. Comes in handy. Okay, I can turn my overheads and my, you know, the fastest one that one. Alright, we're gonna have to turn right here, kind of wide, but not that wide. There we go. Move one right here to FedEx. Turn right. Enter right. National truck discovery. Okay, international truck. All right, yeah. Right. That just gives me the option to see if I want to purchase a international. I have the option to do such. A uh, guy, come on, you see me trying to turn in here. I don't believe. Turn right. Okay, here we go. That's a pretty decent turn. Let's turn our hazards and get my hunk. Let them know we're here. Got a guy for me. Set our park brakes and um, see what we got. All right, we're going to cargo market. Because as I say, we're using our own trailer. Money goes in our pocket. We ain't got to uh, rent their trailer and take out insurance on their trailers and all that. I have that on my own. All right, here we go. TVs. 32,347 pounds. From Flagstaff, Arizona to Sierra Vista, Arizona, which is a total of 361 miles. That's a pretty decent trip. Not bad. We're going to take that all right now where do we got to park i think we have to park on the other side of that uh let me see bricks on the other side of that blue trailer right there i think that's where we got to go guys pretty sure yep i'm pretty sure So what I'll do is this here. I'll do it the easier way. I'll do it like this. I'll do it. And turn this puppy around and back her on in. The easiest way. I want to miss that blue trailer all together so and 
There we go. That's better. They can always look backwards like this. As well. You're looking good. You're looking good. Like we knew we would. We're looking good. Alright. Sharp turn in. It's not gonna pan out as like I wanted to, but at least we uh Alright, let's go forward a little bit. Overshot it a little bit, but uh, no fret, no fret, no fret, no fret. There we go. And that's better. Uh, I'm a little outside the line, but they may give it to us. Yep, they did. They gave it to us, people. Let's go outside and look at it. Yeah, they gave it to us, and we're going to accept it. Shut this engine down and load her up. I want to be the last too long, so therefore, we're going to rush it along. It would help if I took out the brakes, huh? Not bad, huh? Alright. The engine sounds nice with that turbo in there. Alright, we'll be going to our right and then, well, to our left and to right, yeah. A quick left and a fast right. Turn right. Alright. It's not a problem. I can do that. Get off the grass. Yes. Or the gravel. Continue straight. Oh, we ran into a tree. Get like an amp track. Packs the cargo. It wasn't too bad. Raised burgers. I wonder how they burgers taste. Is it cow or is it buffalo? Okay, we can't hit a GPS lady, so I'm gonna jump back inside. I vaguely heard her say something, that's what made me decide to hop inside. There we go. Turn them hazards. Didn't know I still had them on. Alright, come on, come on, Pride Rock. I'm your boss, let me in there. Alright. That was one of our trailers behind us. There's another one just past us. And there's a one in front of us too. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What kind of day is this? See all my trailers? Is that mine? Is it? Is it? If it says FLS Logistics, that's another one of my trailers. Use the right lane. I modded it to the game. 
but we're getting off. No, nope, it's not one of mine. Okay. Turn right. They have the same colors almost. Remember guys, it's the snow, so uh, the truck is going to handle different than it will on a regular street or rain. The physics change with the weather, which is good, you know. To give it that realism, you know, like I'm really driving in the snow. I can't be flying up and down the highways because you will slide. And this is easy snow here, just not doing good stuff. So we gotta keep in mind the speed we're going. Especially on these turns and stuff. Yeah, in real life I've never experienced driving in snow, so this is about as close as I'm gonna get. Because I'm not trying to drive in snow. Ever. The hunting theory to that is one day I'm going to have to drive in snow. But if I can help it, I don't want to. I'm good. I'm a fire person, you know. I like the heat. I like the sunlight. I don't do well in cold at all. It's been a nice time to go outside and sightsee, wouldn't you say? Yeah, look at that. I'm not going to let you guys forget this little sight. This is nice. Even though we're taking a chance on me driving around this bed in the snow. Alright, I don't do too bad. I'm doing 70, really? And it's 65, just slow this thing down. See what I'm saying, guys? It's not the, see, the truck will not, it acts differently. So I'm gonna have to slow her down on these turns. Especially with me being outside. Y'all know I can't drive outside. And the snow is letting up, it's dissipating very good. Getting lighter and lighter. And it just stopped. Oh, yeah, see, I, I better get inside, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the road. Y'all didn't see that, did you? Down, look at the snow melting off the windshield. I was just sliding down. They really try to get technically real on that, you know. Sliding snow, I like it. Just slide over for the yard. I knew it was gonna do that. Get back over in my lane. I'll leave that alone. I'm gonna start no controversy on my channel. My channel's drama free. Cause this drive turned out to be all right. The fact one minor that we're going to never talk about again, right guys? Alright. Now, if you like what you're seeing so far, you know, don't be shy. Hit the like button. Let your boy know that you like what he's doing, you know. Drop a comment as well. You know. 
even if it says good job, I don't care, yeah, just say something. If you want your name shouted out in one of my recordings, just, uh, like I said, drop your name in the comment and say shout me out or something like that, you know. And I will be happy to do such. And while we on shout us out, shout out, shout out, out, say that fast three times. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Anyway, shout out to my boy Davo, my bro. What's up, Dave? And a shout out to my homie, my Jamaican homie, young gamer, 55. What's up? What's happening, man? My Jamaican imitation impression. I'm telling you, I'm getting better at it. What's up to you? He's all the way in Jamaica. He has a channel out here on YouTube too. Young Gamer 55, check him out. You know, it's always good to support one another. You know, if you guys want to support me, hit that subscribe button. And also hit the all indicator bell so you get all notifications every time I drop a video or have a blog about something or anything, you know, like a contest which will be starting soon. As soon as I can get enough subscribers, I don't have enough now, so, I, so it wouldn't be fair to everybody to just put from a handful of people. You know. I gotta get off here. I'm just yapping at the mouth and not paying attention to the GPS thing. Keep oh, left. Okay, we're gonna keep it left. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, but go ahead and subscribe, you guys, and support your boy. Stand behind me, and I'll make sure every video will be worth looking at to the best of my abilities. And uh, like I said, when it's time for the giveaways, you'll be a part of it automatically. The earlier you join, the better chance you have on uh, winning things. It's going to start soon. I like that tunnel. It's a nice tunnel. I've been to that tunnel before. Anywho, moving right along. Let's throw it down on this turn. Now imagine if it was snowing still and I was coming on that turn like that. We would have stayed right into that barrier where that guardrail is it going. There's a probably rock past us up just right there. Is this one in front of us? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. All I see is black and gold. Like there's one on the opposite side going that way. Black and gold. See probably rock. Now that one in front of us, not one. No, it's not. I know he'll know what lane he wants to stay in. Keep changing lanes. Let's jump back outside for the view. Let's bring it down some so you guys can get a more realistic. Uh, well, I can at least. Because I can't control the thing if I'm sitting right on top of it. A little better, guys. Alright, we are now in. Uh, I like that sign said Arizona, didn't it? I'm not sure.
and I better jump back inside because I will hit that guardrail in a heartbeat. engine I have in here, I believe it's a 1,000 horsepower Caterpillar, I believe that's what I have in here. And of course the, uh, the transmission has an 18 speed with the retarder. If I can get over now, get in, in my proper lane. This is the proper lane for a semi-truck to ride in. Um, you will see them in the number two lane, which is directly to my left. And the number one lane is the far lane to your left. There's always the number one lane, people. People always get that mixed up. They think the lane I'm in now is the number one lane. It's not. It's the number three lane. The number one lane is always to your left. It starts from your left to your right. So if it was five lanes, uh, of course this would be lane number three. And the lane to my left would be lane number two. And to his left would be lane number one. Now if it was five lanes, the two lanes to my right would be the fourth and fifth lane. If that makes any sense to you guys. The number one lane is always to your left. The furthest to your left. And then you count over towards your right. That'd be two, three, and four, and five. No matter how many lanes it is, that's how high you count from the left. If that makes sense, so I'll leave that alone. I, now I'm starting to get confused. But that was some good food for thought, some FYI. Which I try if I know something that, you know, I think you guys should know. I'm going to spread it, you know. Continue straight. Should they go to Arizona again? The sign did say welcome to Arizona. I thought it was already in Arizona. I know we're on the borderline of Mexico. That's where we're going to wind up, right at, right at the border. So you got to turn it. Okay. Jake, break. Keep left. There you go. Now I'm just hogging the lane. I, I see the pull car behind me saying, what is this guy doing? Alright, we're going to be right I might go outside and give him a turn, you know? And I don't do well on turns, so. This guy is going slow in the speed limit. The 75. That's why trucks of this size and this magnitude should ride on the um, right side lanes because they are the slower lanes. The number one lane, the lane I'm in now, because only two lanes. The number one lane, the lane I'm in now, and the number two lane is a lane to my right. This is the fast lane. The number one lane is always your fast lane, or you can call it your passing lane. Right, so always store the right. ones on the, the on the right. left. The furthest lane to your right 
will be your slowest lane. Take the exit on the right. And I gotta get over. What am I talking about? Take yes. the right turn ahead. I'm so. I was so much into educating you guys until we're uh, almost missed my turn. I I'm not gonna make that light. I don't want to take it. They're gonna trick you with that one. But they will give you a ticket. Now it's just outside. It's outside. I could turn down, I think, without getting a ticket. I got, I got my blinker on. Yeah, okay. Turn right. straight. And you see how she said, if you guys heard her, use the right lane and continue straight. Because this is the lane you're supposed to be in furthest to the right. She just confirmed it. Let's zoom in a little bit so I have a little bit of control over the vehicle. And this sign says, uh, come and check on your stuff under the edge. It says Carmen Chicago, and that's what it said. In other words, I don't know where the hell I'm at. Thank God for GPS, huh? Now you think about all the years we never had GPS, people had to use maps. I bet you a lot of people have lost back in those days. Thank God for GPS in our era. I think I'm, I, I, I was in the military and I didn't do good. And Pat Reed didn't make some money. I don't know where the hell I'm at. I'm following y'all. And I was in the communications too, so I, I folks know all of that. They all had me. What this mean? I don't know. <laughs> you the communication guy? Yeah, I know. I just know. I just know what that means. Ah, right, inside. Okay, she didn't say nothing about us getting over. Well, I'm at the boat bar. Left lane. Then turn left. Oh, now she says, it. "See that." Anyway, moving right along. Let's let's just keep on going. That was then. This is now. But no, I cannot read a map. Oh yes, I will. 
wheel, I'm doing wide right turn too. Turn right. Watch my trailer. I'm about to back that out because I don't trust that. Let's see what they want this thing. I'm not gonna do a wide outside shot because okay, they want it right there. Let's put it right there for them. But we got to be careful of my trailer because I'm looking in the mirror right there, and it's gonna hit that pillar so I better back it up I better back her up and come in wide with the turn that's what we'll do we'll, we'll just there we go we'll just come in wide with the turn but I know where we're going so all right there we go Oh, the glare of that sunlight. How real is that, huh? PayPal. Okay, that's what they wanted right there. I see the markings. There's a lot of PayPal's in there. Do I want to skip the parking? I wish I could. That'd be a letdown to you people if I don't park this thing. Shouldn't be that hard. Shouldn't be that hard. I just gotta line up my rear trailer. Let's turn the overheads on. Let's back her on up in there. And I think I turned too soon. Let's look backwards and back of us. Yeah, I turned too soon. Alrighty. How about that? We're not gonna skip. Try this ourselves. There we go. Looking pretty good, guys. What y'all think? Outside, look, look what I did by myself. No help, no credit, no coaching, no nothing. I did that. I'm so proud of me. Let me give myself a high five. That's twice. I give myself a high chin. Anyway, that's it, guys. Y'all saw it. We did it together. Now let's go ahead and say, uh, take this job and pay me. Pay me. All right, breakdown. Job completed. Excellent. TV delivery from Flagstaff to Sierra Vista. Driven distance was 362 miles. Seven hours and 30 minutes was time taken. Fuel consumed was 49.4 gallons. Okay, the reward, the money, the experience. Okay, base reward for 362 miles was a whopping one hundred and thirty four thousand six hundred and sixty five dollars experience points for that is 583 xp now proficiency bonus 
level 112 moving on up look, look here the similarities the similarities 134,000 in $65 rather than $665 okay I'll take it though no experience point come with that I'm not tripping all right mm, long distance delivery bonus skew rank six uh, they gave us six thousand seven hundred and three dollars experience points a hundred and forty five okay fragile cargo Bonus because it was TVs, of course. Skill level again is six, uh, forty thousand two hundred and nineteen dollars. Uh, a hundred and twenty eight experience points came with that trailer maneuvering bonus. What I just did, I backed it in there. That's the trailer maneuvering bonus. All right, they gave me a whopping one thousand, an additional hundred and fifty experience points usually they'll give me a high as a thousand but that 150 that's probably because i got it right on all right let's add up the money these four columns add up to 315,652 the experience points add up these four columns it comes up to 2006 experience points okay like we say my level is 112 that's fine we're done with that now the sneak peek at the engine under the hood is right there take your time pause it go over it will be in the description as well the trailer information will not be so take out all the time you want to read about the trailer all right I'm gonna keep you guys by going over all that stuff piece by piece but I do want to thank you for let's start up for um have you guys noticed how my license plate lights up on the inside watch let's start it up again let me let me get in there now you, you see this license plate that's in the window that says grump now watch what happens when i light up when i start the engine up yeah how cool is that anyway this thought i share that with you guys i want to thank you guys for coming I want you guys for taking out time with me. And uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you want to subscribe, go ahead, you boy uh, Solid. Hit the like button. Um, leave your comments. If you want to shout out, holler at me. Let me know that you want to shout out. And I will, I will shout you out on, on one of my videos coming up. I guarantee you I will. Anyway. Till then, peace out and God bless. Stay safe. I'm out.